Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a loading bar screen for our main menu and we will move to level load menu. And then in next video, we will set up the level log unlock system. I'm just uh, uh, just uh, leaving that uh, section of uh, uh, menu controls and shop menus, etc. Uh, because I have planned it to create in a new uh, course uh, that will be a separate course and we will learn uh, Facebook uh, leaderboards, uh, shop menus, level lock on lock etc. So this game we are going to finalize this game and for that I have just created four different levels and now we are on main menu and from main menu we want that if we click on play we should uh, move to our level select menu and then we can select our level so let's say uh, see how we can do that so for that purpose i have written a loading bar script uh, here loading uh, bar script and if you open the script this is a very simple script with scene management and ui included and then we have created uh, three game objects uh, variables uh, one is loading screen slider and loading text public variables then this is a, a normal script you can find it online as well and i have used the script in uh, different uh, 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 tutorials as well so i will not repeat the process so this is a simple script which will load the levels so for loading level we need a loading screen as well so here in canvas we will just go to ui and panel and then we can rename this panel as a loading screen and then definitely we can uh, change the colors and other things so i will just go to sprites maybe where is sprites and here we have some sprites so we have some textures as well so here we will select loading screen let's place this texture here in the background and then we can increase the opacity and here you can see this is the background for loading screen uh, which is quite nice and now we will create a slider ui slider and uh, this slider we will make it under loading screen and then for this slider we will remove the handle slide area and then we will make it bigger okay uh, so now we have background for our main slider we can make it uh, red and for fill color we can make it uh, any type of fill whatever you want let's add the green fill uh, and uh, then uh, that's nice so here on slide load slider we will also add a text here and I'll just add the text here inside slider and then we will name this text uh, as a loading like this and then definitely we can place it in the middle and why it is should be in slider okay no problem we can move it uh, manually and then we can make it white we can make it uh, wrap our flow then we will make it the middle we can also make it smaller and we will make it bold as well and then we will place it i don't know why it's not fine i will just delete it again and i will inside this slider let's create a text again because yeah uh okay now it's good i think its placement will be fine so let's see then bold middle 
and then we'll make it overflow as well and we'll make it size to 8 maybe and 6 maybe and then we will make it loading like this now if we watch this in game view uh, yeah everything is fine actually although the text is very faded but I don't know why so anyhow um, that's fine if you want a brighter quality of text you can create it inside the canvas and then you can drag draw, uh, it in slider okay I'm okay with this for time and now here you can see that we have a loader uh, I will just delete this thing and let's create another empty object and we will rename it to level load and we will place our loading level script here so let's see loading bar script and now we will place the object so we will add loading screen we will add the slider we will add loading text here and that's it now for loading levels we should have these levels inside the build setting and in a proper manner so the first level should be the main menu and then the second level we need a level select menu then we need a level one level two level three level four so this is the sequence of our levels and uh, for time we don't need shop menu and character select menu because we will uh, do work on this in the next course so here you can see that everything is ready now we will hide this loading screen and then we will go to play button on the play button we will add a function here on click function and we will drag drop level load script here and on function loading part we will select load level function and the level select menu was 1 okay its uh, index was 1 in build settings so that's nice we have ready the uh, first menu if we click on play you will see a loading screen and now we have level select menu we have only four levels and here you can see that initially we have set up the uh, eight levels so we will just customize these levels because I don't need these so also we don't need a score system we are not creating in this course so for time I'm just deleting it and that we will uh, do in some other uh, courses and uh, next button I think uh, we should not add this as well because uh, we don't have character select menu uh, so we will delete the level 5 uh, 6 uh, 7 and 8 and then we also will delete these uh, locks I don't need these locks for our level system although you can implement with the locks as well so but we will make it a little bit simple and that's it here we are levels and now in next video we will implement level lock unlock system let's meet in next video Allah Hafiz